What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Chud's Barbecue. My name is Bradley Robinson, and today I'm going to show you how I made these beautiful, smoky, porky, direct heat pig wings. Come on up! Football season is coming to an end with the big game this weekend. And seeing how last week we discussed how to smoke chicken wings, this week I figured we'd do something a little bit different. That's right, folks, we're making pig wings. So today I'm gonna show you what a pig wing is, where it comes from, how to get one out of a pig, how to smoke them, how to eat them, and it is going to be delicious. This is the leg of a pig, the back leg, the ham. This is the butt cheek of the pig. Right here you'd have the tail coming up and then right here would be the old cornhole region. But the pig wing comes from this region right here. This is the shin or the shank of the pig. Once we get the trotter off and all the rest of this meat deboned, we'll be left with the pork shank and we're gonna debone it. And much like us, the pigs have two bones in their shins, the fibula and the tibia. And what we're gonna do is take the big bone out, leaving just the tibia, and we're gonna French it down and make it look just like a chicken wing or a drumstick. But before I cut into this thing, I want to give a big shout out to the Bearded Butchers here on YouTube. I was always really curious to see what a pig wing is and where it comes from, and there wasn't much information on the internet about it until a few months back when they came out with their videos showing how they break down a pig and pull out a pig wing. So be sure to check out their channel. But for now, first thing I'm going to do is remove this trotter. Sorry about all the noise if you can hear it in the background. My neighbors are getting a new roof put on. But to remove this trotter, we're going to go right at this top joint right here. We're going to go straight on in. And then we're gonna just keep following this ball joint all the way around. You feel it start to open up, a few tendons to get through, and then we're simply just gonna crack it right on the ball joint on the edge of the table. And finish the cut. And there you have it. Trotter removed. This is great for making stock. Smoke that up, save it for later. Now that we've got the trotter removed, we're gonna go around and take all of the skin off of this thing, which is real easy to do. Just simply get the knife under there, cut as close to the skin as possible and just work your way all the way around. Keep it nice and clean. And just like that, all skin comes off, one big piece. Not too much fat on there. We'll go through and scrape the rest of that off, but we'll save this for another video. Probably make some chicharrones or something like that. And here we have it, a beautifully skinless, very fatty pig ham. Now that we've got the skin off this ham, we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna debone it. Starting with the H bone right here. Kind of a tricky bone to take out, but as long as you follow it carefully with your knife, it comes out pretty easily. Finding where it separates and going on through. And we're finding our way down to the ball joint here where it meets the other bone. Just using the tip of the knives as to not make too many slashes into this thing if we can avoid it. It should be just about there. Yeah, it's a weird bone to remove, so just take your time. Great for stock. Now that the H bone is out, I'm gonna go around and take off some of this excess fat, because there is quite a bit on it, which is gonna be rendered down into lard, which I will most likely make tortillas out of. Maybe fry something up. And every time I get a pig for this channel, it turns out to be the fattiest pig I've seen in weeks. Now what I'm gonna do is follow this bone and start pulling out some of these bigger muscles. There's a lot of natural seams in here that you can follow. That is some beautiful pork. And now that this bone is exposed, I'm just gonna go ahead and take that on out. Just like the other bone, we're just gonna follow it, saving as much meat as possible. And as we get down on this end, we wanna be real careful because this is where the pig wing comes from, is this next section, so we don't wanna cut it up too badly. But again, there's another ball joint right down here. And once you have that separated, this bone should come right on out. And there we go. Beautiful. Now that we got that bone out, we've got this shank isolated. We're simply going to take it right on off. And there we have it. That's what we're going to make our pig wing out of. As for the rest of these muscles, I'm going to try and seam them out best I can. So we end up with some beautiful muscle groups that we can use for ham making, throw them on the grill, or at the very least, make some sausage. Look at all of this fat back. That's going to be great for making sausage. Oh, can't forget about the old kneecap. Little bone. Gotta love that fresh pork. Cleaning this up. Got some silver skin and connective tissue on here. Just trying to get everything looking pretty. And on this last piece here, you can see there's some beautiful marbling on there. I'm just gonna slice with the grain on this piece into some nice, thick steaks. And what we got here is the pork picanha, or what I like to call the porcanya. 
definitely going to be grilling these up in the future, folks. Look at that. Beautiful marbling on that pork. Very excited about this. That is going to be a tasty pork steak. All right, y'all, there you have it. These are all the cuts I got out of that ham leg. We got three pieces of boneless ham meat. These can be brined, smoked up, that sort of thing. Probably make some ham in a little bit. We got these beautiful picanhas. We've got the trotter, some skin, the bone, more bones over there, some trim for sausage, some fat for sausage, and then we've got this, the pork shank, which we will now break down even further into pig wings. To turn this pork shank into a pig wing, what we're gonna do is start by removing this fat and getting right down to the muscles themselves. This is also a great place to start if you're looking to make your own pig wings. Just go to your local butcher and ask them for some raw pork shanks. Because usually at the grocery store, these come pre-cooked. But what we're gonna do is simply just seam out all of these muscles. You can see a natural separation it wants to pull apart anyway. Just follow it along with your tip. And this will basically roll right on out. Just keep following it along. This would be a great introductory thing to butchery if you find yourself some pig shanks. So now we're down to the muscle and the bone. And like I said, there's two bones running through here. You can see them right here. You got this big bone and then this tiny little bone right here. So what we're gonna do is take this big bone out. So finding the side where you can feel it right on top here, go around it with our knife. We'll follow the natural curve of the bone. Got this bone separated on the end. Now we're just gonna try and get through this last joint. I tend to just break them. Cut this last piece off, and there we go. Fibula removed. Or is it the tibia? I don't know. So this is the beginning of a pig wing. As you can see, we still got this tiny little bone in there, which we're gonna French back a little bit and clean up just for presentation purposes. Kind of whittle all this meat down. There we go, nice and clean. Looks just like a chicken leg. But there's still a bunch of meat in here that we don't really want. As you can see, there's a big tendon, and we're just gonna lob that meat right off. And then I can pull this tendon out and use the rest of this meat for sausage. And then it's all about just kind of cleaning it up. And now we've got all the silver skin on top, which as you know, is super fun to take off. So clean it all up. And that is looking pretty good to me, folks. That is a pig wing right there. We've got some beautiful, nice dark meat on there, on the bone, silver skin removed. And lucky for me, I work at a place where we bring in pig legs every week. So, so I think it's time to fire up the smoker, get these seasoned up and start cooking. There's a snake in my boot! Oh, shit. Oh. Yes, I did just break my microphone doing a terrible cartwheel. Thank you for noticing. While we wait for our charcoal to light up, let's go ahead and get these seasoned. You can do whatever rub you want, as always. But for me, I'm gonna go pretty simply with salt and pepper, maybe a little garlic on there. Ah, 16 mesh black pepper, as always. Yeah, 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 yeah. Add it in. I'm also gonna go in with some garlic powder just for a little extra flavor. It'll play nicely with our mop sauce that we're gonna add down the road. Firing up the old Mini Chud Box Pro version today, folks. Pretty excited, I haven't done a long cook on this thing yet. Although, I doubt this is gonna be a very long cook. This is a great opportunity to see how long this thing will hold temp with one chimney of charcoal. Three minutes in and we're already up to temp. We're rocking it right around 300 degrees, which is where we're gonna keep it. Just gonna put these on, let them cook for about an hour or so. Then we'll come back and check on them. Because these are called pig wings, I figure the most appropriate sauce is somewhere in between a chicken wing buffalo sauce and a pork sauce, like a whole hog mop sauce. So what I'm gonna do is combine the two into the best of both worlds, starting with two sticks of butter and one white onion. Once the onions have cooked down a nice little bit, we're gonna go in with some hot sauce. But to take this from a butter heavy oniony buffalo sauce to a hog sauce hybrid, we're gonna go in with a lot more acidity with the juice of one lemon, nice little dash of Worcestershire sauce, Nice little pinch of mustard powder. 
Little bit of apple cider vinegar. And we're just gonna let that cook down for a little bit longer. And to add a little more body, we're gonna go in with some light beer. Beautiful. These have been cooking away nicely for about an hour. We've already got some really nice color on them. I flipped them once or twice here and there. But that is looking great to me. So now we're gonna go in with our thickened hog sauce or thinned out buffalo sauce, depending on how you wanna look at it. And just periodically give them a nice little base of flavor. And of course, all that butter and hot sauce will drip down onto the coals, creating some super flavorful smoke. All right, two hours into this cook and these guys are looking real nice. Got some really good color on there. They're cooked through, that mop has cooked on nicely. Smells absolutely delicious. So now what I'm gonna do to help tenderize them up a little bit is wrap them in some foil with a little bit extra mop in there. And we're gonna cook them until they're nice and tender. Just over three hours and this thing just dipped below 300 for the first time. Looking good, which is great because these things are probably just about done. Three and a half hours into this cook and these bad boys are coming off. Ooh hoo hoo, looking real tasty. Smelling amazing. It's like pork steak on a bone. What's not to love? Feeling pretty tender, but still have a good amount of bite to them. So hopefully we'll get some good teeth marks on there. Reading right around 200 degrees and they've been there for a while. But we're gonna let these rest in the foil for a little bit until they're nice and cool and then we'll dive in. I think it's time to see how these came out. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that smells so good. Nice and steamy. That color is beautiful. Oh, mm-hmm. Oh, that's tasty. Very tender. <laughs> mm. Oh. This would go great with so many flavor profiles too. Just like a rack of ribs, like this would be really good if it was sweet. It's good when it's spicy. Oh, very good. Can we pull the bone out. Yep. <laughs> Dip it in a little ranch, wing style. Yeah. Nice clean bone though, I'll tell you what. This is cool. Never had a pig wing before. That meat's got such good flavor to it. Not often I eat pork shanks. Brooke, you wanna eat a pig wing? Okay. You ever had a pig wing before? I can't say I have. Ooh, hot. Mm. Pretty taste. I mean, pretty hot, pretty toasty. <laughs> <laughs> but it is tasty. Mm. Pretty cute. Ooh, hot. It'd be a good fair food. I got some ranch, but it's pretty terrible with ranch on it. Really? Well, too mm. much. Too much flavor. No. Mm -mm. By itself, I think it's already doing the trick, though. Yeah. Well, the handle. Convenient. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm holding it all like delicately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pop. <gasps> it's hard to believe that uh, pigs can fly with these tiny little wings. You know what I mean? <laughs> eh? Eh? You got me. I learned uh, how to butcher these out just so I could make that joke. It almost has like a beefy flavor. Yeah? Yeah. That's what I'm getting. All right, I'm too full. I'm gonna call it quit. Okay. But not full enough for a Rice Krispie Dream. Thanks, Twisted BBQ. <laughs> Tell you what though, buffalo pork, definitely worth a shot. It's very close to a pork sauce anyway, buffalo sauce. Tangy, spicy, vinegary. Just add some butter. Can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, and that is it. That is how to butcher and cook some pig wings. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Helps the channel grow. If you give this recipe a try for yourself, be sure to tag me on Instagram, at Chud's Barbecue. Drop a comment down below to let me know what you'd like to see me cook next. Head over to ChudsBBQ.com for all pit inquiries and see what other smokers I'm building. And until the next time I see you, please go cook something outside. Peace.